watching Good Morning Britain. Now, I know you've been gripped, as we all have, to the story of the three British friends. Such, oh, we've all just felt for them so much, haven't we? They've been stuck in an Italian quarantine facility for nine weeks after testing positive for COVID-19. Now, early this week, we are able to share the good news that Will, Will Castle, one of them, had two negative tests. That was the requirement. They had to get two negative tests in a row before we had to be able to come home. So he got them and he returned home to be united with his mm. family. Well, they'd had test after test after test, but yeah. unfortunately his friends, Quinn, Paxesny and Rhys James, continue to test positive and are still stuck in Florence at the moment. But Will was determined he wouldn't give up on his mates. I'm sorry that that we couldn't all leave together. Um, but yeah, that like, even if that, that report ends up not being anything, we're gonna get you out and it's gonna be this week. It is like, I'm like, we're gonna make sure it happens. Like, I'm not gonna stop with, with government or with the authorities until something actually happens. Poor old Will, you could really tell that even though he's delighted to be with his family, you felt so guilty, didn't you, Will? And Will kept to his word and didn't stop trying. So Will joins us now from West Sussex and in Florence. Quinn and Reese. good morning to you. Now I see them Ooh. sitting next to each other, <laughs> which is progress. I think you've got some breaking news for us, haven't you? What's the latest? You wanna do it? <laughs> <laughs> we're free, like we're allowed to, yeah. We're coming home. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Fantastic. That is amazing news, so what happened? <laughs> yeah, no, basically, um, the emergency law in Italy, which stated you need two negative uh, results to leave, stopped yesterday. So essentially, the law in the whole of Italy changed yesterday. Um, and Tuscany, the region we're in, signed the agreement and basically said you just need one negative in 21 days of isolation. And we've done what? 61? Yeah, like 61 days. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're allowed to go. So you very lucky really and also that. very lucky too because you will have know I or somebody hopefully has told you that Italy has changed its position on returning home to the UK and I think you just sneak in don't you before having to quarantine back at home for two yeah. weeks which would have been really bitter although better <laughs> probably. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would have been terrible if we had to like isolate sort of on the return home for like two weeks as well after just doing 61 days in isolation. Yeah, yeah. so we beat it by 24 hours, I think. <laughs> Which is good news. So how does it feel then that freedom is now within your grasp, that you're nearly there? I don't even have the words to explain like how it feels just to know that we can like go home, do normal things, see our family, see our friends and like have a normal life again rather than being stuck here. I know you will have been dreaming about this for nine weeks. What, what are the first things that you're going to do? What are those things that you're thinking, I cannot wait? I mean, straight away, I think we can both say it's seeing friends and family. It's just <laughs> being able to hug someone and not be approached by someone in a hazmat suit for the first time. Um, it's just going to be so nice to have normal food. Um, I'm really looking forward to a roast dinner. <laughs> yeah. I bet, because I think you've my been... My mum's not cooking the roast dinner. <laughs> oh, I mean, you've been, you've been, um, uh, you've been having a, quite a limited diet, haven't you? Will, you're there watching, beaming. Uh, this is what you wanted, didn't you? Because we could tell you felt guilty um, in a way, although chuffed to bits to be coming home. Um, you, what, can you give them an idea of what they could expect, though? Because while you've been away, things in the UK have changed as well, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends where you are. I mean, I'm quite lucky. I'm in a in a, the lowest of the tiers, so down in West Sussex. So things are still relatively normal, just kind of rule of six. But I think the guys might be going back to slightly higher tiers uh, than I'm in. I don't know exactly. I'm not going to pretend I know. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's a, it's a different, like, world. And um, but it, it's still more freeing than quarantine. That's the thing. Um, and you can have all the food that you want and you've still got your family with you who can, as Reese just said, give you a hug whenever whenever you want one, um, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's so much better. Are you going to be able to mix when you come back? Do you know that? Because you've spent, you know, so much time forming this bond, albeit being separated a lot of the time as well. I have no idea. Like, I mean, we're together now, so 
I suppose, yeah. But I don't know. Like, obviously, Reese is from Wales, so when we get back, um, I'm not too sure, like, what happens once we land. Mm. We'll have to wait and see. And, Will, how hard was it? Obviously, great news for you that you got to come home when you did, but you must have felt bad about the fact that, that the others weren't able to join you at that stage. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's been difficult. Um, I, yeah, I, I kind of have sort of been saying that sort of my, my body has kind of been here, but my mind has kind of still been in, in Florence. So it's like, it's definitely a big relief that they're coming home so that just so that I know that they're, they're fine. Um, and that also we're all finally out of it and everyone is, is, is free of, of that place. Well, Reese and Quinn, you can get yourself bodily at home as well as mind and, and, and you know, get an and celebrate and enjoy it. Do you know what flight you're on? Do you know when you're heading out? Yes, yeah, so we're on the BA flight first thing tomorrow morning. Right. I hope they give you something other than, what is it, chicken and pasta? Yeah. That well, you've been having all week. Hopefully you can have a little mini <laughs> celebration as you start your journey. can rustle up some beef or something <laughs> different. Um, it would be lovely. It would be lovely. Great to chat to you this morning. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. Thank and you. we wish you all the best. And I expect you're looking forward to the time when, at some point, you can all get together and celebrate the fact that you've got your freedom back. I bet that's a, a special date that hopefully you'll be able to do not too... Not too far away in the future. Fingers crossed. Right. Thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. Wonderful.